as he did. Ten sets up the screen to Henry, cuts inside, turns it into a big gainer, turns it into almost a touchdown as he out of the pistol this time. And he's going to throw it, and he's going to throw it, and it's Austin Hooper for the touchdown. Derrick Henry, little trickeration, as they say in the biz. Right there. Titans beat the Packers, and the Packers are dead. They suck. This is interesting to see your daily sports podcast, News Narrative Takes Gambling. It is Football Friday, and Derrick Henry murdered the Packers. I was wrong about this one. Amazon Prime there with the video. Like, rate, review, subscribe. A little late this morning. Had some te- technical difficulties this week. I don't know what I'm going to do next week. I am for sure not doing a show on Thursday. I probably am not doing a show on Friday. I may or may not do shows on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm going to try to keep shit uh, going. It's American Thanksgiving, which is my favorite holiday. American Thanksgiving is the greatest holiday in the world. <clears throat> do not argue with me. Everybody celebrates Christmas, um, all of our Jewish compadres, they celebrate Jewish holidays, all of our Muslim compadres, they celebrate Islamic holidays, and Christian celebrate Christian holidays, but American Thanksgiving is American holiday. The reason why it's the best, there are two reasons. Reason number one is that it's always on a Thursday, which is really super duper important, and I'll tell you why, because every single year, Christmas and Easter and different holidays can go on different parts of the year, because religious calendars are not the same as Julian calendars, and even if they are, the 25th of December moves around. However, Thursday is always Thursday, and everyone's hungover on Friday, so all of America's like, yeah, Friday off too, bitches, four-day weekend. Secondly, the purpose of Thanksgiving is just to eat wholesome food and watch football and hang out with the most important people of your life. It's the shit. It's the greatest holiday of all time. So I'm probably not going to do a show, but we will discuss that. The World Cup will be raging at that time. Um, So stupid. (laughs) You want to go up against American football, you're going to miss out on so much money. Okay, so last night the Titans went to Green Bay. They embarrassed the Packers afterward. Aaron Rodgers got booed. He got booed at halftime. He got booed a little bit more during the game, and he was like, he missed a couple throws, and he called it... He said he missed a couple throws. So he was asked what he felt and what he thought when he was booed. And he said it was interesting. Which he's got a point here. Like, it's one, like, the Eagles people boo people. Packers, that's not really a booey fan base. Right there. Interesting, he said after a long pause. That's the best I can give you. Uh, yeah, he has a point here because <sighs> they have been the perennial favorite in that division since he's been there and they're looking at gift horse in the mouth. They, they're kind of done with him. He's kind of done with them. It looks bad. It's at the, at the question at this point is whether or not he is going to fake an injury. They're going to start Jordan Love. They should. I mean, they have him. He Jordan Love theoretically could have a contract extension in the offseason. He hasn't played. The Packers are melting down. The, the Titans are just, they, they, they beat teams who don't want to play football that day. They beat teams that want to play seven on seven football. If you're better than the Titans, you can beat them. And remember, they're now seven and three. They could be eight and two. They lost to the Chiefs in overtime without their starting effing quarterback, which is crazy. So shouts to uh, the, the the Tennessee Titans. Um, huge news in the NFL yesterday for Football Friday. The Buffalo Rochester area of New York is expecting six feet of snow over Saturday and Sunday. Six feet. That happens. In that area, the Bills were scheduled to play a home game against the Cleveland Browns. The the NFL has occasionally, they let snow games happen, depending on when the snow was going to happen. They also will move them. The Eagles famously had a snow game moved to like a Tuesday, if I recall. The problem is that for the NFL is is, uh, mass human movement. It's not that the Bills and the Browns are going to play in the snow. They They obviously don't care. Snow games are the best. They don't care about that. What they care about is 60,000 drunk buffaloes outside, and like, it's a public safety and public health nightmare for them. So they had to move the game. The game will now be played in Detroit, which is fascinating. Because Detroit's in a dome. I think it is geographically the closest dome to them. Yes, the, the only one that could be closer is Minnesota, and I think Minnesota has a home game. 
The reason why this is interesting is because the Bills play the Lions in Detroit on Thanksgiving. It's going to be a good party for Josh Allen. And I'm telling you all this because I would bet on the Lions on Thanksgiving. Now, I don't know about to win the game, but they are 10-point home underdogs. Home underdogs are awesome. Vegas hasn't figured it out. They never get set the lines right for home underdogs. But Buffalo, nobody wants to spend Thanksgiving um, in Detroit if you're not from the area or you have ties to the area. Everybody that goes to Detroit is like, yeah, it's trying really hard, which means like this place is gross. For example, there was an Eastern European. The Red Wings just signed this Eastern European. Um, Sharat Kubliak? I don't remember. But the thing he said is it reminds my wife of where we're from. <sighs> Why do you think the Red Wings are so good with the Russians? It reminds me of fucking Russia. <laughs> I'm not joking. So now the Bills, they're going to get to Detroit today, I would imagine. Maybe tomorrow. They might get there tomorrow and put it off. They're going to be in Detroit for seven days. When they play the Lions on Thanksgiving, they're not going to want to be there. And they're probably going to win because they're significantly better at almost every position. But 10 points, too much. Bet on that now before they figure it out. And also, if you the over-under for, Bill, for Bills Browns that I saw in some books was as low as 42. It's at 49 this week because it's in a dome. Josh Allen's going to go off. Bills are favored by a lot. Everybody making a bunch of jokes, including the Detroit Lions themselves. So the Bills tweeted. Here's the tweet from the Buffalo Buffalo Bills. The Bills tweeted, due to public safety concerns and out of an abundance of caution in light of ongoing weather emergency in western New York, Sunday's game against the Browns will be moved to Fort Field in Detroit. And the Lions quote tweeted that and said, important numbers are by the phone. Lock up when you leave and please don't break the tables. Love that. Good for them. Uh, people can buy tickets. Last time something like this happened, it happened a couple of years ago. To play, there was an emergency game in Detroit. Um, public sale for tic- tickets is going to happen today at 2 p.m. The last time this happened, they ended up giving them away for free. 55,000 local Detroiters showed up, which is cool. I mean, Josh Allen for free? Fuck yeah, dude. Ha- absolutely. Miles Garrett for free. Nick Chubb for free. Von Miller for free. Those are Hall of Famers. Probably. Josh Allen's probably going to the Hall of Fame. We'll see. Uh, Miles Garrett's trending that way. Von Miller is one of the greatest at his position in the history of the game. You can go for free? Definitely. That'd be awesome. <sighs> okay, so that's what's going on. That was the big news yesterday in the National Football League. Uh, big big rumor news in college football was that Charles Barkley said he knows that there's going to be a shocker firing in the SEC, and he knows for a fact that that school is going to go after Deion Sanders. Is it going to be Mike Leach? It could be Mike Leach, because remember, Dion is coaching in Mississippi for Jackson State. People will think it's AM. They're just going to keep throwing money, oil money at this problem. They suck so bad. That's so funny. Um, Auburn already fired their coach. They're kind of going after Dion. They're going after Lane Kiffin. Lots of rumors on that. Lane Kiffin is trending yet again this morning. Tennessee's not firing their guy. Everybody in Tennessee is going to be required to make out with him anytime he wants, because they're finally good again. <laughs> Oh, man. So we'll see. I mean, I don't know. Who the hell knows? This is a god-awful week in college football. It's a great week to travel and go see people. According to the ranked stuff, um, nobody. there are no ranked games. This is the week that Alabama and Auburn take off before they play each other. Alabama's got Austin P. I I don't know who Auburn has. It doesn't really matter. My guess is <sighs> Arkansas Pine Bluff. That's my guess. Let's look it up. Western Kentucky. Damn. You see my point. Tennessee's playing South Carolina. That's interesting. The I'm the only game I'm interested in is Boise State, Wyoming. That'll be fun. Ole Miss is playing Arkansas. They can absolutely trip up on Arkansas. The Pac-12's got Oregon and Utah, which sucks because one of them's gonna have three losses. So <laughs> LOL. That's how that goes when you play in a conference. Um, yeah, nothing interesting. There's nothing interesting in college football right now. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. The only thing that I'm finding interesting is there's a late Heisman push for North Carolina quarterback Drake May. He's really good. He is going to be a high-round draft pick. He's really, really, really good. And I don't think Ohio State needs C.J. Stroud. Uh, Michigan, Blake Quorum, that's a joke. That's just the Michigan propaganda machine. I think that you can make an argument for Drake May. And also, this year, we don't need a Heisman. Sometimes, like, you know, sometimes, like, the Pulitzer Prize and stuff and Nobel Prize, like, that. sometimes there just isn't one. No, but there's no Heisman this year. There's none. He's going to pick Bryce Young, probably. I mean, he's... He's clearly the best player in college football. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. NFL football time. Let's go through. I've got some bets for you. I've got some previews. Let's do that. Um, 
So the Panthers are playing the Ravens. Panthers are 13-point underdogs. Do not take the Panthers. I think that is a totally adequate gambling line. I love that. The, the Eagles are seven-point road favorites over the Colts. I hate that. Everyone looked at the Eagles game and was like, hey, you know, they're not this bad. It's a good, it's a good loss. They don't have to worry about being undefeated anymore. Yeah, I think that's true, but they also drafted this huge, fat, athletic dude, Jordan Davis, and he's, like, hurt. They did just sign Indama Kinsu yesterday. That's also news. We'll see how in shape he is. Um, I don't think they're going to win by seven or more than seven. I do love the Jets. They are road underdogs against the Patriots. Patriots are good. Uh, Saldos can, can get out coached by Belichick. I don't know. I just got a funny feeling. Jets are Jets are good this year, so I love the Jets. I also love the Commanders to cover. That's a best bet. I think the Commanders are just that much better than the Texans. Then three is a kind of a low number. Um, it's entirely possible that Taylor Heineke remembers that he sucks at some point. The Lions, I like to win outright. I think they're just better than the Giants. The Giants are 7-2 and two on the year. They are 7-1 and one in games of one, of one touchdown or less. 7-1. and one. That is a weird thing. The Bears are a three-point road underdogs against the Falcons. I love that. So I love Lions to win, Bears to cover, Commanders to cover, and I kind of like the Jets too. The Bills are 8.5-point favorites. The over is 49.5. Um, that means that... You know, Vegas is expecting Buffalo to win, I don't know, like 28 to, God, I, I haven't done this in a while, 28 to 11, no, 38 to 21? No, that's 59. <laughs> yeah, uh, 28 to 11 sounds, yeah, 28 to 11 sounds about right, somewhere in there. Um, but the over is still worth it, in my opinion. I like the Raiders to beat the Broncos. The game of the weekend for me, by far, and I think this is going to be America's game of the week with... Uh, Kevin Burkhart and whoever else. Who's the guy that does it with him? Greg Olson. Uh, Minnesota and Dallas are playing in the Dome, and I think that's that's going to be a great game. Minnesota had that game of the year. There's an emotional letdown for both teams. Dallas like allowed Green Bay to escape, get off the mat a little bit. And then the nightcaps are Kansas City and Los Angeles, a game that I'm sure everyone was excited about a long time ago, but the Chargers are kind of weirdly good-bad. I don't know. And, of course, Monday Night Football. San Francisco 49ers are at the Arizona Cardinals. So I love, I, there's some bets I love. Lions to win, Bears to cover, Commies to cover. Love those bets. I think the Eagles, if you want to bet on the Colts, you can bet on the Colts. I don't know. It has to just do with Jonathan Taylor. They have a good running back. You got to know what we say. And this this is the week in college football that's a bummer. It's the year before, it's the, it's the week before the week. Right. Bunch of rivalry games coming up. Um, so it's just kind of, it's, Everyone's kind of stumbling to the finish line a little bit, and we know who's in, who's out. Um, there's a bunch of teams in contention. A lot of teams need things to happen, and none of those upsets appear like they're going to happen this week. That's kind of where... That's what feels like it's about to happen, is that none of these upsets... We're just going to kind of fast forward to next week when the biggest game of the year is going to happen for... Uh, Ohio State-Michigan winner's going to go to the playoff for the second time um, in a row, I think, probably. Yeah. Well, they're going to go to the Big Ten Championship, which means they're going to play, I don't know, Illinois. <laughs> so they're going to go to the playoff. <laughs> it's out. I mean, that's where we're at right now. We're in the dog days. World Cup starts on Sunday. Next time I see you, Qatar will have played. And all of the important teams will be playing on Monday. The USA, England, Wales, Iran kick it off. We'll do a preview and things you should know. It's going to be a disaster. And uh, I'll be here for all of it. Yeah, it'll be exciting. Like, rate, review, subscribe. See you then.